what is up i hope your day has been going amazing um right now i'm gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me i've been gotten a little bit so i want to update you and let me have a sip of water so my voice isn't so raspy <laughs> but yeah i just really been wanting to update you and just talk about some school just a lot of things first i'm taking my luminaire concealer and um yeah so i've been gone a little bit um not like crazy gone you know what i mean just like for like a few days um but uh, I wanted to update you guys. I just went to Tahoe, which was beautiful. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was so beautiful. We were there for five days, I believe. Four nights, five days. And it was just amazing. You just kind of detox. You just get so much sun. And you feel so healthy when you come back. Like, literally, I am so much tanner. I feel so amazing. But we rented a boat. We just, like, there were so many beautiful views. The coloring of the lake, all the trees, the sky, the, the ocean. That was not an ocean, Fiona. It was, it's so big, it looks like an ocean. And it's just, it's such a beautiful experience every time we go there. It, it's, like, the best way to kind of, like, have your last week of summer. Because I actually start school very, very soon. I believe the day I'm posting this is my first day of school. Oh, um, but I'm very lucky because, you know, everyone else has started just about. I start the day after Labor Day, which used to be like the way that everyone started, but now it's like all jumbled. I think, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly why, but I am homeschooled, so yep, I'm a freshman now, which is crazy. Like, wow. And I can't wait to focus so much on my YouTube channel in school because once school starts, I feel like there's like, I'm like always going to be at home pretty much. Not always, but you know what I mean? Because I'm homeschooled, so we're not traveling or anything. Um, so I'm really, really excited to be coming up with more content and things. I'm just really, really excited. I have some amazing videos planned out. I've already filmed a few and it's just going to be really, really fun. I'm really, really excited and it's going to be Christmas, which is okay. That's like way too soon to say that, but like, I love Christmas so much. Like, it is my favorite holiday. Um, I'm right now gonna take my Pixie by Petra color correcting powder. It's just like a really nice thinly milled powder from the drugstore. But there's some also really cool things that are gonna be happening um, late this year. I'm so excited. I'm like, I don't even know how to describe how excited I am. Like, I'm not like smiling like crazy because I'm applying powder to this like scar that I got from that garlic burn. I'll flash a photo right here from my garlic burn. Oh my God, that was a nightmare, really. It honestly was in my opinion. It's not a nightmare to be honest. Like, there's so many worse things. I was watching, I was like, I always go on like video watching rampages sometimes. I'm just like stuck in the black hole of YouTube. But like, I was watching this one girl um, and it just, it made me feel like I am so lucky and I feel like I want to like I want to give back and just like Hurricane Harvey and all these images it's just like it makes you feel so grateful but like so sad at the same time like I always want to give back um yeah it's just wow it's just I feel like we're all so lucky and we just have to appreciate that so much more I feel like I just I don't appreciate it enough People always ask me, like, how do you stay, like, happy with all the hate, or not all the hate, but, you know, with hate and things like that, like, how do you deal with that? And I just want to touch on that right now because I feel like school just started, and, you know, sometimes it's rough. And if you are having a rough time at school, it is okay. We'll get better. It, like, I, I had a lot of issues when I started um, school. I wasn't always homeschooled. There's a reason why I started to be homeschooled. Um, I, sh I feel like I should do a story time on it because I feel like it's a really cool not cool story actually but like yeah I had a lot of issues at my old school it was a private school so it wasn't like but like I feel like private schools are almost mm, mm, I don't know how to describe it like if there's like only like a few kids and I feel like we all are together for that whole like you know like mm, you know mine was elementary school that was like a long time to just be with those 11 kids and we all just start to pick on each other I didn't but like other people started to pick on people it was just horrible like um, me and my friend um it was a long story, but like, we got like, it was not good. And I didn't know I was legally blind in one of my eyes. So like, it was just, it was a rough, a rough, rough start to my schooling, which I just, it kind of like, you know, made school kind of sucky on me. Which I just, I, that's like the reason I have like such issues with sometimes reading and spelling. As like in videos, like you guys are like, oh my gosh, you can't read at all, like I'm concerned. But like, it's because, I didn't know I was legally blind in one of my eyes for a while, so like I'm like I'm learning spelling, like you know, like I'm like one, not one. But like I can spell, but you know, it takes a while for me because I'm also dyslexic. So if you ever hear me pronounce something wrong, that's probably why it runs in my family. Um, dyslexia and bad eyes. 
Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, Padoodle, I just wanted to address that. But, like, how do I deal with hate? That's, like, a very common question. Um, P.S., I just used the tar Shape Tape. I feel like you can just, like, recognize it. Like, you don't even have to see it. Like, you can see it, like, all the way back there, and you're like, oh, that's the tar Shape Tape. Um, but... This is like my favorite quote. This is like how I deal with hate. It's like the only opinion that matters is your own opinion because other people's opinion doesn't matter because it's not yours. Like you are yourself and you have the most important opinion because it's yours. Like you look at yourself in the mirror and that's you. Like I'm like, that's me. Oh my gosh, right? It's weird, but like you have to remember that the only opinion that matters is your own. I know that it can be really, really hard at times, but you just have to remember that. That's something I do love about having my YouTube channel. I've learned so much from my YouTube channel and I'm still learning so much more every day. Just like about having my YouTube channel, like the hate, just like all of it and like the hard work that it takes to make a YouTube channel. It really, it makes me feel like I have something. Like it's so important to me. Like that is one thing, like I don't care if someone talks about me, but if someone talks about my channel, that is when my kickboxing comes in. No, I'm kidding. Um, but I do do fitboxing, but like still like, I just, I can't handle when someone talks about like my, like I don't care if they don't like my YouTube channel, but like if they talk about my subscribers, that is when I get defensive. Mama Bear gets mad, um, but yeah, that's the one thing that d I don't like. But sometimes, you know, after having like, you know, so much hate, it sometimes gets to me a little, but really rarely now. And I had to deal with the hate when I was 10, because I started my YouTube channel when I was 10, you know? Um, so yeah, it was... It's always been something that doesn't really bother me. Like, I've never was a shy kid or anything. Uh, I just had a lot of ADD issues because of I didn't know I was legally blind. That was, like, my life, and I didn't know that I could barely see. Um, so, yeah. Anyhow, that's, like, my life story in a nutshell for you. Um, but... Yes, okay, I actually really wanna do a really fun eyeshadow look today. I've been really craving to do an eyeshadow look, but then I get lazy and I'm like, ah, well, I don't wanna do that today. But today I am with you. I love the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is definitely one of my favorite products ever, like all time favorites. I've only had it for a little bit too, like I think like a month, but these colors are just, oh, they make you happy almost. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but it just, it really does. This is the Morphe M326 brush. Oh, also I just painted my nails this like really pretty nude color. My nails have been growing out because I haven't been biting them. I always bite my nails when I'm editing. That's like my thing I do. I just like peel my nails. It's really bad actually. <laughs> That's kind of gross to be honest. Um, but yeah, anywho, I feel like I'm all rambling in this video, but I feel like I've been needing to ramble to you. You know what I mean? We've been needing to talk. Um, but I'm also gonna be taking the blue and the Kylie Peach palette, no, the royal peach, because she's royal, huh? No, um, but this color is like gorgeous. It's a beautiful royal blue, and I'm gonna be mixing some of these blues as well in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I feel like it's just gonna look weird if it's just color on my lower lash line, so I'm putting a little beige shades in my crease and kind of working it onto the lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of the blues and rub that on my lower lash line. Sorry if I sound nasally, by the way. I always sound nasally, I don't know why. Ooh, I like, I feel like that's, it's not exactly what I was going for, but I'm gonna wing it out slightly, so it's kind of like more of a wing almost, you know what I mean? So funny, me and my friend, the reason why I'm not saying her name is I'm not sure if she wants me to say her name, um, but uh, me and my friend, I'll just call her L. but we always used to make these concoctions in our backyard. I don't know why, every time I say like a concoction, I think of like uh, us going to the dollar store and buying whipped cream, not whipped cream, I always say whipped cream, shaving cream and like soap and like shampoo, all of it, and like making like con uh, concoctions, potions. So fun. We loved doing that. Like now we both love makeup so much. I think that's like so funny because like we started off with like making like little things like with shaving cream and like stuff like that. And now we love like mixing makeup and doing stuff like that. It's always so fun. Um, but anywho, I'm just going to smudge that. Oh, oh. I just like poke my eye. I hate when that happens. I kind of want to add a coral though. Okay, if you know you're going a little ham. I like going ham. That is so pretty. I'm so happy I did that. Look at that, that is so cool. <gasps> oh, I'm taking the Kylie Peach palette, this peach shade right here, right next to the royal blue. My friend Tilly, she kind of made this like rainbow. I feel like I'm kind of doing that, but with like no, like, I feel like it's not very rainbowy, but it's kind of rainbowy. I like. So I just put the Essence Lash Princess Mascara on, which I really, really like. And then I'm gonna go in with the Lair, the Lair Real, the Lair Real Mascara in blue. So it's like a blue, like it's a bright blue mascara. 
Uh, I'm not sure if I really like the blue color. I feel like it's a little cry cry, but like there's little flecks of blue if you can see. I kind of like that actually. It's like very natural, but like, <laughs> you know, not because it's blue. I really, really like this look. I love it actually. I feel like it looks so cool. <gasps> well, thank you so much for helping me get ready and just chatting with me. I love you literally so much. I'm gonna be back to six days a week on this vlog channel. So yeah, it's pretty much daily. I just don't post Mondays because Monday is not the fun day. Um, so yeah, I love you so much and bye.